This is the fourth video in a series intended to teach you how to use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki to help you locate records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. In order to match the information you have on the person in the United States to the correct person in the records of Germany, you need to try to find the full name of your ancestor, the exact place name of the town he lived in, the time frame that you're looking for records, and the religion. This article, Germany Gathering Information to Locate Place of Origin, gives a thorough list of records that you can search and links to make it possible for you to reach those records. This video will help you to use the sections of the article on passenger arrival lists and naturalization records. Here's an example of a passenger arrival list. It gives the names of the passenger, their ages, and in this column, their place of birth, the country, and the city or town. And then in this column, it gives their last permanent residence. In this section of Germany, gathering information to locate place of origin, passenger arrival lists, you will find a link to this page, United States Immigration Online Genealogy Records. The very large collections of passenger arrival lists for many ports in the United States can be overwhelming to search, and this search strategy hopefully will be a logical way to approach that. The record that I showed you is typical of the kind of detail you would see in records beginning in 1906. Earlier records don't have as much detail, but you'll still want to check them on the off chance that they will mention birthplace. There are several search engines that will search many, many, many of the databases all at once. A family search historical record search is free. I have found the search engine at Ancestry.com to be a little more powerful. These three sites are subscription sites, but you can search them for free at any Family History Center. If those searches did not turn up the record you were hoping to find, here are some indexes that have been set up. These are not covered by the searches you just did. So they may have additional records that you haven't seen yet. If you know the exact port, you can search by port. There are a few databases listed that focus on German immigrants. And then finally, there are some passenger arrival lists that are organized by state. Here is a typical petition for naturalization that shows the detail you would see in records beginning in 1906. Here are the birth date and birthplace in Germany, the spouse's birth date and birthplace in Germany, the port that the spouse arrived at at the date, the last place of residence in Germany, the port in Germany she sailed from, the port of arrival for the applicant. In Germany, gathering information to locate the place of origin, you will find this link to United States Naturalization Online Genealogy Records. Naturalization records are found in the state where the immigrant lived when they applied for citizenship. You might have to check all the different states you know that the family lived in to find the records. Now you try it. If your ancestors arrived in 1906 or later, search for their naturalization records by using the page United States Naturalization Online Genealogy Records. And regardless of when they arrived, try to find them in passenger lists by using United States Immigration Online Genealogy Records. The links referred to in this article will be listed in the notes below this video.